This is a TLC clinic on October 24, 2015. I'm going to let this video go through normal and then do a slow play review. Congratulations, Sabrina and Luna, on being the clinic champions. Uh, in the morning is on the left and in the afternoon is on the right. As you can see, you had a tighter arc from the uh, in the afternoon than the morning. But what I really liked about your mare, you said um, your concerns were she was traveling crooked and to second and third and you could feel her hip drift out when you were going with speed. Well, I definitely felt it even at a, uh, a slow trot. So what I suggested to you, which I would normally never suggest to anybody, is to look and ride at the barrel because she was drifting out so bad to a big pocket like 10 feet to the side of the barrel that when she got there, her shoulder was on the inside and her hip was swinging to the outside, so it was really hurting your uh, run and causing you to start the turn too soon with a hip that was swinging, and then you would step out of your turns. So first barrel, she was very honest. Um, first barrel's really nice, so we'll just let that go through slow play. Obviously in the morning, um, you had a wider arc, but um, let's count the strides of rate here and see if she can handle the smaller arc. So you're riding two hands, one, two, one, two and a half. So you're going to need to watch that. Um, let's watch the bigger arc on the left. Okay, sometimes if you make the arc too small, watching the video on the left, one, two, three strides or eight, one, two around the barrel. So I would like to see you find a happy medium for that. When you find her sweet spot, which um, that is a, on the left is a little too much, on the left is a little too little, a little too small. So see, here's almost two horses away. This is less than a horse away. I think your sweet spot on her is going to be about right there. Um, and then what will happen is you only have two strides of rate. Here you had to have three strides of rate because where she rated you were too far from the barrel, but only two strides around the barrel. But here you had only two strides of rate, actually a stride and a half, but her tail was going that way on her first stride of rate, then going towards second. So then you took an extra half a step around the barrel because of the angle. So finding the right sweet spot for her arc is going to be key for you to really click a little bit more time off. Um, but you had a very nice pocket going into the barrels. Um, you know, she could still uh, tighten it up on the back side on the right in the afternoon, but you still had a nice hustle. Um, as we're going to second barrel, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and look at how you're riding. I like that your two hands, you're getting up and hustling her, uh, and then right about two strides from the barrel, uh, you go ahead and you, you were aiming more at the barrel, and then she ended up right where she needs to be, which is three feet to the side of the barrel, instead of out here where she was. Okay, so that, your pocket was really, really perfect for her uh, in the afternoon versus the morning wasn't bad, but you can see right here, see how on the left she's got her hip already out and her shoulders in, so when she travels and she gets up here, uh, look how squatty she is um, and kind of strung out, and so her hip is pretty far from the barrel. See how much closer her pivot foot is? So that made a nice change in her just to shave some more time. One, two strides of rate, one, two strides around the barrels, looks really good. Again, you're up, you're hustling, two hands, looks good. You sit for rate, boom, this looks really good on the right. Right here, you go ahead and go to the horn and you sit, beautiful. Your hands forward though, letting her work, but just sitting in the middle of her, getting out of her way. Two strides of rate, and boy, she just gets in there, one, two, you help her finish and pull up on that saddle horn and out you go. I love, out of all the riders of the day, I love how you used your horn to go with her and you got off of her head. This is my absolute favorite look, leaving the barrel. And then on the left, it's still nice, a little slower in the morning, but still you rode really pretty. And then you have a nice signature uh, that's a muscle memory for you to just pull up on that horn and give her a head, which is a really great way to ride your horse. So as I mentioned before, you're not going to want to always be looking at that barrel. That was just to fix a problem you had. But what you're going to do when you practice her is those little question marks. So if these are your three barrels, and she's pretty honest, and you're lined up in the center, um, pretty lined up with third here, um, 
you're going to find your sweet spot, and it's probably going to be a horse's length away from the barrel, okay? Um, you don't need two horse lengths, and you don't need a half a horse. You need just a perfect horse length away from the barrel. And then, first barrel's pretty nice, okay? First barrel's nice. So we'll just go with your nor normal R three-foot pocket, but then as soon as you leave here, right now I have you looking and riding straight at the barrel. Most people, I have them get over and ride right to their three foot pocket but she was drifting out too far so you'll go here and then about two strides from the barrel is when you'll start looking three feet to the side and it'll be like making a question mark move she'll move out and around by only three feet okay on her own so it's kind of like an in and out and you'll do that on third barrel as well so head straight at it then she goes through her three foot pocket straight at it three foot pocket and um, there's certain horses that are very successful at that. Cappy Allen's Risky Chris was one of the best in and out horses I've ever seen at the NFR. Um, but that may not be her style to do in and outs. But right now, because she was drifting to giant pockets and swinging her hip, that's the best thing for her left turns. Something else you can practice um, with her was the D. Because what will happen is it will teach her to rate straight, but it will separate rate and turn. So um, just like we did in the clinic, I like it because you can sit, but then you can separate where she collects her stride and when she turns. And just be sure she picks up her shoulder and fill her hip in and under throughout. And get where you can do this drill one-handed, just using your body, pinky, and a little bit of leg to help. And obviously always looking where you want her to go. So that would be my suggestions. Congratulations. Really nice mare. I loved riding her. Lots of fun. And um, thanks for coming to the clinic.